Alrighty, Robert here. I'm going to show you guys a quick rundown of how the AI have been progressing in a nutshell. Here are the Russians. Uh, basically how I coded them was that they basically fire their targets off of A, sound, and B, uh, visual. Based off of where their eye, eye sockets are in the character, that basically, and their FOV settings and how much they can see in one given second, at a distance, they will find you. Now, you can see right there, I typed in the invisible code, but because they had already seen me previously, they went to my old position, and uh, they shot me. Because if they see you before you type in the invisible code, the invisible code will not work. Um, unless you shoot the guy that saw you. So, let's see. I'm gonna, so, you can see the patrol routes they set up. They go and move through the level. They look for their target. Obviously, the number one priority for them to hunt down is players. They will prioritize players over AI any time of the day. Uh, so, they always try and kill Amber, even if she's with a group of other uh, AIs. Unless the AI is deemed a higher priority because of their weapon. You can see an issue right there is a T pose jump. So that's all localized to the Atom sets. Uh, might be a little Atom tree work in there, not sure, but I'm pretty sure I've seen that animation of the Atom sets. Here's an example of their pathfinding, is that they're trying to find where that bullet came from. So they're looking for me. Obviously, if I didn't have the uh, ghost or uh, invisible mode on, I'd be dead right now. Because uh, they would instantly look at me, because they figured they were like, oh look, a bullet just landed in there. Same thing right here is that, you know, that guy kind of checked it out for a second, but unless you actually shoot one of them, like I did here, then they're gonna, they'll, after a while, figure out your position. So I killed one, now they know where I am, and now they're gonna shoot me. Now that only works if, they're, if you're in direct view of them. Let's say if you shoot one and run around a corner, they're gonna go to your last position, they're gonna send two around, and they're going to try and find you that way. But if they don't find you, they're going to go back to their patrol route. Now once the sound are recorded and all the other jazz, we'll have those going off randomly for whenever they see people and better visual audio cues so people can actually tell what the hell they're doing. Uh, I'm going to add some AIs real fast for the Americans and you'll see a little combat. See how they function and whatnot. And uh, for some reason the Russians always tend to win. So we just copy these cats in co and uh, paste them around. You'll notice that they are black and they are actually the Russian texture all over again. With that Russian mesh, it's because I'm still waiting for the Americans to be skinned and animated and weighed. So I'm using them for placeholders. <laughs> and I spelled the invisible wrong. It's visible one. Invisible one. Here's a little combat. They fully work, it's just that they need better, I need, to, I need to have final animation so I can see what they're doing at all times because there are a couple of issues that I need, like, I need all the atoms to build the burning up basically. That was a little, you know, they just slaughtered each other, they're gonna smack that guy down. You heard Amber basically, she heard the bullet go by her so she was like, oh, well, you know, so I just some systems that are working on so that the player can detect. Uh, the wisp and whatnot. Once Chase finishes up the rest of the sound effects, you'll hear a bullet wisp and all the other stuff run by the player as she plays. Uh, so, I'm going to add a little pedestal up here so you guys can see it from a top down perspective and you can better see it without the player being a wild card. Because whenever the player is visible by the AI or they can at least think they hear her, then she will always take priority or never actually get to see. Like how they would react if it's just AI against AI. So you can see pretty much here the Americans got steamrolled by the Russians. There's like two left, I think. One left. He's about to get steamrolled. Yep, he's dead. Little jumping issues right there. You'll see that randomly sometimes the uh, the AI will switch to T pose when they're shooting at people. Now because the, all the AI are dead, they're gonna look for me. They're gonna prioritize me, and they're gonna kill me. Obviously the hunt is not final yet. I'll be finishing that up with David over probably this weekend to uh, maybe next beginning of next month. They pick up guns, they do all the normal jazz. You can see that guy is still locked onto me before I typed in invisible because he just wants me dead. So 
So they're gonna search the level, they're gonna explore, they're gonna look for enemies, and they're not gonna stop till they find. So this is a pretty much an endless loop of them searching the level once the AI knows are put in. And, they, and then whenever they find one, you have three seconds to kill whoever saw you. If you don't kill him in those three seconds, then he calls in the rest of his guys. Obviously, when we actually get to the final level, there will be audio cues that are like, Hey, we got him! And then, you know, everybody else will head over there, etc. Uh, so that way you guys can see some of the issues I'm running to as a programmer, and you guys can address them and get them done before the 30th. Alrighty, thanks. Peace out.